Hello and welcome to our channel. Have you ever met someone who just exudes charm and charisma without even opening their mouth? Maybe it's the way they smile or the confident way they hold themselves. Whatever it is, they have a certain something that draws people to them and makes them instantly likable. But what exactly is that something? And can we learn to be charming too, even if we're not naturally outgoing or charismatic? In this video, we'll be exploring the art of being charming without saying a word. We'll be looking at the power of nonverbal communication and how we can use our body language, facial expressions, and gestures to convey warmth, approachability, and confidence. Whether you're trying to make new friends, impress a potential employer, or simply become more likable in your day to day life, these tips will help you communicate your charm and charisma without uttering a single word. Number 1 Smile. When it comes to nonverbal communication, the smile is perhaps the most powerful tool in our arsenal. A genuine smile can convey warmth, openness, and approachability, making us instantly likable to those around us. So, how can we use our smile to be more charming without saying a word? Practice makes perfect, if you're not used to smiling frequently it can feel forced or awkward at first. Try practicing your smile in front of a mirror or with a friend to get more comfortable with the sensation. Remember, a genuine smile should engage not only your mouth but also your eyes and facial muscles. Be sincere, when you're smiling, make sure it's for a genuine reason. People can often tell when a smile is forced or insincere and it can actually have the opposite effect of what you're trying to achieve. Timing is everything. There are certain situations where a smile can be particularly effective in conveying charm, such as when meeting new people or diffusing tense situations. However, there are also times when a smile might not be appropriate, such as when discussing serious or sensitive topics. By practicing your smile, being sincere, and timing it appropriately, you can use this powerful nonverbal cue to convey charm and approachability without saying a single word. Number 2. Eye Contact The eyes are said to be the windows to the soul, and when it comes to nonverbal communication, eye contact can be a powerful way to convey confidence, attentiveness, and sincerity. But how can we use eye contact to be more charming without saying a word? Maintain eye contact. When speaking with someone, make sure to maintain eye contact for at least a few seconds at a time. This shows that you're engaged and attentive, and can help establish a connection with the other person. Don't stare. While maintaining eye contact is important, it's also important not to overdo it. Staring can be uncomfortable and even creepy, so make sure to break eye contact periodically to avoid making the other person feel uncomfortable. Mirror the other person. If the other person is maintaining eye contact with you, try to mirror their behavior. This shows that you're on the same wavelength and can help establish a sense of rapport. Be aware of cultural differences. Eye contact can be interpreted differently in different cultures so make sure to be aware of cultural norms and adjust your behavior accordingly. By maintaining eye contact, avoiding staring, mirroring the other person, and being aware of cultural differences, you can use this powerful nonverbal cue to convey charm and sincerity without saying a single word. Number 3. Posture Our body language says a lot about us and one of the most important aspects of body language is our posture. Good posture conveys confidence, poise, and a sense of presence, even without saying a word. So how can we use our posture to be more charming without speaking? Stand tall, whether you're standing or sitting, make sure to keep your back straight and your shoulders relaxed. This not only conveys confidence and poise, but can also help you feel more alert and focused. Avoid slouching, 
slouching can make you appear tired or disengaged, so try to avoid hunching over or slouching in your seat. Use gestures. Using gestures can help emphasize your posture and convey a sense of enthusiasm or engagement. For example, leaning forward slightly can convey interest, while spreading your arms wide can convey openness and approachability. Practice mindfulness. Pay attention to your posture throughout the day, and make a conscious effort to correct yourself if you notice that you're slouching or hunching over. Over time, good posture will become a habit that feels natural and effortless. By standing tall, avoiding slouching, using gestures, and practicing mindfulness, you can use your posture to convey confidence and poise, and become more charming without saying a single word. Number 4. Gestures. Gestures can be a powerful way to convey enthusiasm, engagement, and approachability, and can help you be more charming without speaking a single word. But how can we use gestures effectively to communicate non-verbally? Be aware of your body language. Your body language can speak volumes, so make sure to be aware of your gestures and how they might be perceived by others. For example, crossing your arms can convey defensiveness or disengagement, while open-handed gestures can convey warmth and approachability. Use your hands. Your hands can be powerful tools for communication, so try using them to emphasize your points or convey enthusiasm. For example, using a thumbs up or a high five can convey positivity and encouragement. Avoid fidgeting. While some gestures can be effective, others can be distracting or even off-putting. Avoid fidgeting or playing with objects, as this can convey nervousness or distraction. Mirror the other person, just as with eye contact, mirroring the other person's gestures can help establish a sense of rapport and connection. By being aware of your body language, using your hands effectively, avoiding fidgeting, and mirroring the other person's gestures, you can use nonverbal communication to be more charming and engaging without saying a single word. So, charm is a powerful tool in social situations, and can help us build connections, convey sincerity, and make positive impressions. While words are important, nonverbal cues can also play a crucial role in how others perceive us. By using a combination of techniques, such as smiling, maintaining eye contact, using good posture, and effective gestures, we can become more charming without saying a single word. With practice, these nonverbal cues can become second nature, allowing us to project confidence, warmth, and approachability in any social setting. So next time you want to make a positive impression, Remember to use your nonverbal cues to your advantage and let your charm speak for itself. If you found this content interesting, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.